Okay, so for assignment three, you can. Uh, what I want to use, play with, is using this clone tool. Now you can do it from. Im you can have these images, and um, oh, you know, you can have them floating uh, side by side, and you can copy from there. For example, you know, I can uh, go ahead and, and and do that for us here. Now I'm using this same piece because I, I really want to develop it. I'm not as happy as. Uh, as I could be, but you can make a spaceship, you can make an environment, you know, the sky's the limit. Uh, create a new layer. And actually, I have duplicated this layer. I think I duplicated it. Image, duplicate. So I have, um, you know, a copy I'm working on, and I'm going to flatten that for right now. Okay. So that, uh, and, um, and let's see, I think I am going to, I might get rid of this. Um yeah. Uh I think I just want to focus on um on this guy here. Now, I can if I want to do something interesting there, uh I might want to put some black in there and then have some things floating in there that I'm going to um clone stamp in. Clone stamp is really cool. Now, I can I can fix this hard edge later, right? But uh what I was going to say is put a new layer on there so that we are um cloning here's your clone stamp and what you do is you option click on the area you want and here's your brush size right option click and I want this uh, and well I, I want this stem here okay I option clicked there and now I'm gonna go over here I'm in a new layer I didn't know if I wanted it there exactly It is rather interesting, but I don't know if I'm deviating from my pod idea. So I think I'm going to um, um, undo that. And I think I want this, the brush to be a little bit smaller as well. So I'm in a different layer. And you can see I'm already getting into the purple part and away from the, the very thing I wanted. I actually don't mind that, though. Uh, let, me, let me, you know, kind of pull this over so you can see uh, what I'm doing a little better. And I'm option clicking on that stem. And I can add another layer if I want. Maybe I want to, um, I want to have a lot of flexibility in terms of, you know, what I want to do here. Now, you can imagine pulling, let's say you want to do a, to do a spaceship. Uh, you could pull up different uh, ships and different kinds of mechanical things. And you could be, you know, cloning in, you know, rivets and bolts and, and you know, just about anything. The sky is the limit. Uh, I actually don't mind that because I want it to look rather ethereal. Uh, where'd, my, where'd my little clone guy go? Who's this? Here's another one. Let's pull this guy down. And let's um, move him over. These might be um, rather uh, high res too. Let's see what happens when we try to clone that in. You know, if I am trying to clone from, see that's not working. If I'm trying to clone from, um, where'd that guy go? Take a look at the image size. Image size? Well, no, that's 600, 800. Okay, never mind. I was going to say you can have a high res image uh, that you are cloning from and you can get some really cool textures from that. What I'm trying to do is create a little bit more of an environment for this pod, right? This guy. Cloning things in. Uh, you have to kind of look around, you know, for things. Now, just to show you, you know, I've, I've gone ahead and selected that artichoke thing there and now watch what happens when I just you know paint you can see that it is looking over at this image and it's gathering information from there and then it's letting me um, you know put stuff in of course this is really uh, ham you know heavy-handed there uh, let's see I want to uh, let me go ahead and, and do that guy again So again, ask, your ask yourself what the intent is. You know, I'm looking at this. I'm trying to create this pod and this, and this environment. And um, there's this big black area in there that's really intriguing me. 
Now again, you can see my process is um, I spend time on these things, and um, you know it's they're not easy, right? Now opacity is what I'm wanted to talk about. I can change the opacity of what I'm cloning in there. In case I wanted to do something kind of ethereal. In here as well. Let me play with this for a second and, and figure out exactly what it is I want to do. Okay, so I actually don't mind that. And again, if you wanted to just do, you know, if you're looking at this going, oh, this looks way too complicated. Um, you know, get some plant forms. Just do what I'm doing. Just just create a, a hybrid plant. Here I am clicking, right? And I'm going to go over here. Whoops, I actually want that guy over off to the side. So I can click over here, and then I can come over here, and I can, you know, see. I should be on a different layer, though, shouldn't I? And I can fix some of these rough edges here, I think, uh, a little bit later once I get this thing down, right? I don't know. I, you know, I mean, I, I like doing this stuff. So, um, and let me, uh, so the question is, you know, here, there I am in uh, iPhoto. Um, the question is, how many things do we need for this assignment? I'd say five. Let's, let's try to at least montage five things together. Right now, here's a high res <coughs> image. You know, I'm going to add. Um, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to add a layer so I don't mess up. And uh, I want to shift click over here with a pretty big brush. I don't know. Let's do something crazy. And I want to click over here. This is kind of cool. River. This is taken. And I might want to adjust the levels on this. So you know what I'm taking over there is kind of interesting. Uh, I want to. Click over there, and I want to um, do some stuff in the background. Hmm, it's interesting. It's going to be kind of hard to. Um, whoop! I went right over that. <laughs> Might be kind of hard to get these guys. They look seamless. Me, yeah, hold on. Yeah, I just you know I just did some some of the clouds over here. Um, I might shift click over and get a couple other elements. Let's see, we wanted five different things. Oh, let me get another image. I mean, here's here's an image of a giant you know of a grasshopper, right? I don't know what's going to happen here. Let's try it. It's a very high res image. We didn't put it in a new layer, I don't think. That wasn't smart. A lot of experimentation, a lot of playing around. Uh, you know, many students complain, well, I don't have time to do this, but, uh, you know, it's, it, it, you got to make the time uh, to do all this stuff. Uh, it's just going to, you know, help you out in the end. Now, where is this layer? Is it behind that flower? It'd be really nice if it went behind that flower. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm too wild about that. Again, you know, a lot of this is just playing around. Remember, I can go, this this flower is on top, so I can actually go uh, over it, although, you know, it doesn't, doesn't look that good over it. Um, but, I mean, I can start trying to go behind these things. I really don't even like that. So, hold on. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, you know, I, I want five different elements montaged in. Let me go ahead and, and try to montage. Since we're sticking with flower shapes, we'll do those. Okay, so again, what's our, mo what's our you know, um, kind of process here? Start, you know, bringing these shapes in. Create new layers whenever you're going to do something new. 
uh, put that layer where you want it, if you want it on the top, for example, and then get your clone tool, select it, go over, option click, and you can start cloning in. Now here I have a perfect opportunity. Look, if I go to my background layer and I select that black, that is going to be a perfect opportunity for me to go up here now and um, actually click on that, option click on that, and now I can go in, and it should just be going into the black there. kind of moving things around, trying to get it to um, get these things to work. I actually don't, mm, hmm, I don't know, let me look at this. So I'm back, you know, I didn't I didn't like that, it's too flowery. Uh, I'm back to the grasshopper, and maybe I will do some skin stuff. Maybe I just, you know, can go in here and, again, since this is painting, uh, it might be that I can, I should have created a new layer there, right? It might be that I can do something in here. So yeah, and you can remember, you can always you have multiple undos. Uh, I have to get back to what I want out of this, which is kind of a uh, alien kind of environment. Don't like that. Maybe I need to shift click over here again. And remember, five elements is what we want. Opacities at 100%. Maybe all I need here now. Uh, it's some kind of an orb, and uh, you know, I don't know, maybe I call it done. Now, I want to clean up these edges, so I would go in here, I'd make sure I was on the right layer. Building upon what we learned last, you know, in, in, the, in the previous weeks, um, the um, uh, healing brush, right? Uh, and I want to. Darken that. I want to make this all nice, not all choppy and everything. I want it to have some kind of a sensibility. Now, as I was doing this, it was kind of reminded me of, um, whoops, it's kind of reminded me of uh, kind of an alien um, book on botany, right? Uh, let me let me see if I can if I can maybe fix up this area so it feels like it belongs in there. Add a little black. Add a little black. Yeah, that's that's looking better. And I might even be able to paint black on there. Why not? to make that edge fit. Yeah, look at that. There we go. And in my written description, I'm going to be talking about my process, right? Now we're talking. Okay, so I, I'm not wild about this shape either. Let me make a perfect, um, I was going to say maybe a perfect circle out of that. Um, yeah, I don't even know if I like that shape there. Whoops, keep doing that. Hold on. Do we miss the little orb in there? can always have multiple undos, right? Kind of reminds me of a, of a planet or something. Now, what's the last thing we need to do? I mean, this is where I might do an image duplicate and I might uh, flatten it. And then, you know, bump up my levels. That's too hot. Last thing I want to do, I was thinking of this as a, some kind of alien, you know, manual. So I'm going to put some of this text up there. Uh, I am going to um, spin it so it's maybe off to the side. Okay. I don't know. I wanted to take like a page out of an alien botany manual. So I put my little uh, signature down there and I am ready to save as a high quality JPEG and post.